A few weeks ago, I talked about this monitor that can let you output the video of your devices instantly. It costs around 11,000 and while it is not the cheapest available in the market, it gets the job done very well. Now, some of you are not very keen in buying a monitor but already owns an iPad Pro. But just like what I said, you can now use your tablet as a monitor thanks to the changes Apple implemented on iOS 17 and this app is called Orion. Orion is a third-party app that allows you to use your iPad as an external display for any device with an HDMI output. This means that you can use your iPad to play games, watch movies, and extend your desktop. I tried this on my ROG Ally, Zephyrus G14, MacBook Air M2, and it just worked. Now, here's everything you need to get you up to speed. To use Orion, you will need an iPad Pro with iPad OS 17 installed, a USB-C to HDMI video capture card, which I think is something that is not readily available for you yet. I am currently using this Ugreen video capture card that uh, I bought for around 900 pesos. And I'm pretty sure that other similar accessory from other brands will work just fine. Of course, let us not forget the Orion app that you can download from the App Store. The app is free. And also don't forget the USB-C uh, Type-C to HDMI cable that we will also need in this process. The next thing you need to do is to connect your ROG Ally to the iPad using a USB-C to HDMI adapter. This costs 450 pesos. Again, iPad Pro, this one pairs with the video capture card from Ugreen, but other brands may also be used. And the ROG Ally or the device of your choice pairs with the USB-C to HDMI cable combine them together and you should be able to proceed to the next step. Once connected, open the Orion app on your iPad Pro, select external display option. Your iPad Pro will now be displayed as a second monitor in your ROG Ally's display settings. Now, once Orion is set up, you can use it like any other external monitor. It might default to being the default monitor, thereby turning off the monitor on your ROG Ally. Now, when used as a secondary monitor, you can just simply drag and drop windows between the two monitors or use them to display different content. You can also use it, as I mentioned earlier, as the main monitor, which uh, works as default and not use the one on the ROG Ally to potentially save on battery. Now, the only issue here is battery life while using the ROG Ally and the iPad Pro. With all these things running without any charger connected, your ROG Ally in this case might not last 40 minutes while playing, for instance, Cyberpunk 2077 at 900p. Now, here's an idea that I did, which might cost a bit, a bit, but guaranteed to work. You can buy this Red Magic Gaming Dock that features uh, PD fast charging, 2-in-1 Type-C interface, and 3.5mm headphone jack. Connect this to your ROG Ally. Okay, you may use uh, one of the ports to third charge the Ally and connect the HDMI dongle to the other port. Now, while the iPad Pro's battery can last longer than the ROG Ally while using it as a portable monitor, you may still want to use this keyboard case that lets you charge it through its charging smart connector pins. Again, this one is optional only if you think that your iPad Pro would not last very, very long while playing game and as while using it as a portable monitor. Now, here are a few tips and tricks for using Orion. Now, to improve the performance of Orion, you can try enabling the AI upscaling feature in the app settings. I am unable to uh, buy, uh, to upgrade my copy of Orion for some reason, but you can do so. It's just $5 if you want to. You can also use Orion to record your gameplay by enabling the screen recording feature in the app settings. But you know what? Even if you're not upgrading it, it still works as is. Now, if you already own an iPad Pro, you can potentially save more by doing this solution rather than buying a monitor, which would cost you about more than 7,000 pesos or so. Now, this is clearly not the most uh, cost-effective way, but it is far cheaper than buying a new portable monitor. Orion is a great way uh, to extend the functionality of your iPad Pro. With Orion, this is not a sponsored video by the way, you can use your iPad Pro as a second monitor for your ROG Ally or any other device with an HDMI output as I mentioned earlier. 
All right, so uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, thanks as well for your support. If you have any tips, uh, please let us know and everyone here at uh, this video uh, through the comment section. Uh, by the way, affiliate links where you can buy the accessories that I talked about in this video are in the description below. If you buy them, we get a bit of commission to support the channel. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.